Let's do a before and after scenario. This is the vendor price file before updating with new prices. Note the date and time column. These are the last reported prices we have in our system. Now let's do the import. When Ames sets up your system, we also set up the feeds from DTN or Axis or from oil company websites. Your company ID and passwords are set up in scripts that run automatically every time you choose to run the import process. Any new prices will be flagged. Those new price files display in this program, which is where you can select the ones you want to import. If anything is over here on the left, that is a new batch of prices available for processing. And you will see confirmation that the import process performed successfully and that a copy of what was just imported was archived for backup purposes. The next thing you do is post the prices to Commander. This program also lets you add new fuel vendors for price import. You can choose to review a report of the incoming prices in this batch. And that's it. That's all you do to bring in new prices. Now you can enter your latest BOLs and create your latest price quotes. Your rack prices are current. And this is the after scenario. Our prices for January 26th have been posted. There was nothing to it. There is no limit to the number of price changes Commander can keep track of within a 24-hour period. Old prices never get dropped. You can go back as far as you want and look at price changes through the Vendor Rack Price Report in the Accounts Payable Reports Group.